Hi everyone, my name is Christine. Please follow along as I show you the steps I take for making quilt binding. I have also included an example chart to help with calculating how much binding you may need for your project. Here we go. So to give you an example of how much binding you're going to need for a project. So after, or once you know what, say your quilt top size is. So mine measures 65 inches across by 78 inches down. So for me, I like to like round up on those numbers. So I just take my calculator. And so 65 inches across, I'm rounding that up to 70. So for the top and the bottom of that, so 70 times two is 140. And then I'm hitting the plus sign and then it is 78 inches down. And so I need it for both sides. So I'm rounding that up to 80. So 80 plus 80 gives me 300. So I know I need at least 300 inches of binding. So this is how I make my binding. So I have right sides up. And then I have my next two and a half inch strip. Right sides down. So I have right sides together. And I am just kind of eyeing it to make it straight here and straight here along these sides here. And I'm gonna sew from this corner down to this corner. And I'm going to use my painter's tape that I have lined up here. I have the green tape down first, and that is lined up with what would be a quarter of an inch on this outside edge. And then the blue tape is the middle where my needle is. So I can just put this under here, and I'm lining up this corner I'm putting it straight up to my needle. I take a few stitches to hold it, and then I straighten this back up again. And this corner, because I'm going down to this corner, I'm lining it up on where that blue meets the green, because that's where my needle is. And I can just go straight. So now I'm gonna take my fabric and push it all the way because I know this is the wrong side and now I'm going to flip it. Grab another piece and do the same thing. Right sides together. Here's another view. So I just make sure keeping this straight so it doesn't get twisted at the end. Flip it. Grab my next two and a half inch strip. I always use two and a half inch strips that I cut. I've always I've tried two inches and stuff, but I just I prefer the two and a half inches. Take that corner to my needle. few stitches to hold it and then line this corner up. Okay, next step is I am trimming these corners off. So I usually go up just a little bit and eye it. that off. It's about a quarter of an inch. That's probably about a half inch. I'm totally okay with that. With it being on a an angle like that, it's not so bulky anyway in the seam.
the very end, kind of getting a shadow there. I kind of go at an angle. So it's kind of going straight across with the top of that. That makes it so that when, because I iron my seams, op seams open on my binding, and that makes it so that I don't get a little tail sticking out. All right, I'm over at my ironing station, and I like to lay all my seams up. And this is also a good time to make sure that you didn't get any twisted. I just go along and put my fingernail in there. Grab my super hot iron. Iron them open. Okay, next I just put them all in a pile over here and I lay them out. And then I fold it. I start off with just a little bit at the beginning. I'm just folding it in half and folding wrong sides together so the good side is out. And then I am just, I just take little couple inch sections and lining up that edge. Lining it up a little bit. I hope you have enjoyed this quilt binding video and that it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.